had to get off the Xanax, I had to get off the Percocet, I had to get off the codeine, I had to quit the Promethazine, I had to get out the projects, I had to put down the Molly X, I had to get up and get a check, I had to earn me some respect, I had to get off the Xanax, I had to get off the Percocet. You know how we play. If when you get mad, you try to take it out on me by flirting with shoddy in front of the whole world, I'm just like you. I get mad just like you do. If you saw, if if you got mad when you see me when you seen me in a video laying up with a bitch and a bitch wearing my chain, which happened a lot of times with six nine. When I come in the house, you slap me. Why the fuck would I not slap you and get you correct? This ain't no uh, a, a, a woman beater abusive type shit. We not. That's not what the fuck is going on. You can listen to this bitch the way she talk and understand she not a bitch that's just going to get beat up and lay there. She going to fight. Great. Hey, look, man. We go live every Monday night at 7.30 Central Standard Time on the Big Facts Podcast YouTube channel. When you come in that live, do not donate to the Super Chat. The Super Chat is that little dollar sign on the side of your comment. Don't fucking donate to that. We have Cash App. We got PayPal, Streamlabs. I've even went as far as to make a Patreon page so that all of the true AO Nation members can become a patron and donate a dollar, one dollar every month. You know what I'm saying? To show love to the fucking show. But there's no reason for anybody to use that fucking super chat. They're fucking robbing me blind. Um, for all the new folks and shit like that, if you're trying to get your merchandise, whether it be the Are You Serious t-shirt or the Big Face Podcast t-shirt or the Me and Two t-shirt or the... Big Face Podcast, Scullies. Scullies go for 10, and me and two shirts go for 20. The uh, Are You Serious and Big Face Podcast t-shirts go for 15. Go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Make sure you put your address on that motherfucker, your size and the color you want and what shirt you want. Um, for all my advertisers, no matter if you got a book. Actually, for my uh, people who have products, your prices start at $100. Uh, artists, your prices start at $200. And those prices go up to $2,000. Please do not contact me about no fucking business until you're ready to make a transaction. And I'll be more than happy to get on the phone with you. Hey, this is what we do. Yada, yada, yada. And we'll go to it. But I'm not doing that. How you paid on Friday? Dog. I'm already having a fuss at folks for sending me stories that come on... Another thing, don't send me stories to my inbox that the whole world knows about. I have the internet too, so I know the shit happened also. So you don't have to send it like, hey man, you heard about God then? Get your shit together, Beyond. Welcome back to the Big Face Podcast. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men 2 Movement. If you have not signed the, listen to me. 6 9 baby mama is now saying that he beat her and shit like that. Listen to me, dog. If we don't stop this shit now, my nigga, if we don't stop it now, it ain't never gonna stop. Because there's, all, you know what it is? It's always gonna be somebody who believes you. To be honest, I'm gonna be, let me be honest right here. Let me be for real. 6 9 is the type of nigga to do that. I'm gonna be honest with you, my nigga. I'll be honest. When you when I when I seen that mug, when I seen the, the picture that she sent, and then I seen and I seen um and I seen them at a basketball game, the fake smile they had. When I seen really, I seen them wherever the fuck they were sitting at. They were sitting down, and she had the baby, and he was sitting in front. They looked like true Mexicans. They really looked like Mexicans. They truly looked like I, I try to say true Mexican, not two Mexicans. I try to say true Mexicans because you got niggas who uh, country are new. They looked exactly like I could see who they were. You know what I'm saying? Without the chain and all the book, I could see who they truly were. She's an average bitch. You put that makeup on and it it puts, like, listen to me. 
you know this, right? You know it, don't you? That with, with makeup is just another form of costume. Uh, uh, what, what's that shit called in the movies? Um, when they, the people who are in charge of, of making people look like zombies. What's that department called? When, uh, like when they, you know what I'm saying? What that shit called? Like when they can make it look like you got shot in the head and it looks extremely realistic. You're painting. Essentially, you're painting on your face. You can paint another face on your face. Another nose, cheekbones, everything. You can change all this shit with makeup. And that's why I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's not who you are. And a hoe can't say, you know, looks is on the skin deep and shit like that. Bitch, if that was the case, then you wouldn't spend so much time putting on that fucking makeup. Does that make sense? It doesn't matter. If it doesn't matter, why the fuck did you spend three hours putting on makeup? Do you know how long motherfuckers take doctoring on Cardi B, Nicki Minaj's face before they go somewhere? Why the fuck do it take that long if you're already bad? What I meant, what I, what I meant by this is, when you look at the two Mexicans sitting down with their Mexican child and shit like that, and I have to, I have to highlight that's what it is, because whether or not you believe in a black brown brotherhood and shit like that. Because it's really everybody. It's, it's white folks too. Domestic violence does take place. But what we have to understand about domestic violence is, like I said on my Instagram or my Facebook, whatever the fuck I said, when I said that it's not a crime until the police get there. What we might consider an argument when the police get there is domestic violence. What you might look at as like a, a backyard fight with your homeboy and shit like that, when the police get there, it's assault and battery, Disorderly conduct. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that can be categorized as domestic violence when you put an officer there. And that's by design. Uh, me and my brother was riding a day. Um, what were we talking about? Um, talking about a law. What is the law? It's, the, it's, a, it's a law that you can't. It's some law that you would never fucking know. But it's it's a lot, it's, it's secret laws so that no matter what happens, where you at, a police officer can charge you with something. You know, your tail light being too bright or being too dim. You know what I'm saying? Your your the, the passenger side tire being um uh, bigger than the, the driver side tire. There's always something, you know what I'm saying? And I think that they have those hidden things so that they'll always have probable cause. Um, I say that to say that if you get the police involved, then of course it's going to be something illegal happening. Getting beat up and hiding it doesn't necessarily mean I'm scared of this person or I'm trying to make sure I don't lose my benefits with this person. Sometimes it, it's a motherfucker with a good heart knowing that I started the goddamn fight. If you look at Sarah, this is a 6 9 baby mama's name. Her name is Sarah. I know that not because I'm a huge 6 9 fan, but because you can't fucking miss it. She's always being seen. Never being seen without makeup and being dolled up. And I, I can't really blame her for that because when you on that level, when I, and when I say that level, I say that very loosely and very lightly because you're not on that level because you're talented. You're on that level because you trapped the motherfucker. Understand, bitches. Understand, you ho listen, you hoes. If your claim to fame is a nigga's name. Let it be that. Don't think that you 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 got up in the limelight because you just a, a financial advisor, a business advisor. You went to college for business management at ITT Tech or Riviera, some sideline ass fucking uh, college that's in the back of a fucking you know what I'm saying taco truck. No, 
Bitch, you got there because a nigga was loose. He was loose with his nuts because he didn't value them at that time. But we know that. I, I, but let's, I, if you don't know that, now you know it. Bitch, you're a baby mother. You, you lucked up because your lame ass baby daddy was a plant for the CIA. That's for a lot of you hoes. The CIA wanted to destroy the rap game and turn the black leaders, which are the rappers, into fucking clowns. So they got your baby daddy. Not even because, so it's not even because your baby daddy is talented. It's because your baby daddy can help the CIA destroy the black community. So don't get it fucked up like you famous and shit like that. I be seeing a lot of that shit. These hoes be sitting up tall like I'm, I'm a bad bitch because everybody know me. No, bitch. Everybody just knows you because, you know what I'm saying? Being a baby mama, I've said this before. Being a ba baby mother is not a fucking talent. Some of these hoes talk that shit around like the fuck. Bitch. It's million of y'all. I, and I say this. If what you did or what you do can be done by any fucking body, you're not that special. You're not special at all. Actually, that's the exact antonym of special. Well, I, I just had to speak on that because we got a lot of confusion with these hoes. You think that you, you, you that bitch because your baby daddy got a good job. You feel like you better than hoes and shit like that because your baby daddy got a good job. Bitch, you just like, you just trapped him. And any other hoe would have trapped him if she was in your position. You're not special. You can do nothing on your own. You don't know how to do shit. You can work for a white man, period. That's all you can do. And it's not one black bitch that can't do that. That's the bottom of the barrel. Can you work for yourself? You nothing ass bitch. These hoes have to be put in their place because many of time, if you was walking down the road, dog, these hoes would be riding in a uh, soccer mom fucking car that they baby daddy fucking bought or uh, ex-husband bought with his alimony fucking payments and she'll ride by you looking down on you. Like he need to get his shit together. Bitch, if it wasn't for that nigga you was fucking, you would be right out here walking with me, bitch. Be slap out this motherfucker with me walking, ho. Looking down on me, bitch. And you don't do shit. But I'm the nigga who got the ideas in my mind. I have to work for myself. I can't get down on no Olivia Pope shit. Gotta work for mine. System locked me out. Felon, criminal, thug. Can't work for no white man. Don't get no handout from the government. You laughing at me because I'm still not a Walmart, but you you using the goddamn government money with your snap card. Yeah, oh, this nigga stealing. Bitch, you thirty dollars. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. That's not what we talking about, dog. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. <laughs> All right, so as I was saying, sometimes it's not that a bitch doesn't, she's, it's not that she's scared that she doesn't tell on domestic violence or that her and her significant other are having fights. Not her, She's getting beaten by him. They're having fights. Chris Brown, Bow Wow, not really Bow Wow, because Bow Wow, didn't, he got beat. It wasn't a fight. He got beat. And it's not always that she wants to, maintain the benefits that she's getting from this person sometimes it's some of these motherfuckers like hoes have hearts too like she has like i'm not gonna go tell like you no know i'm saying i started this shit like i came in this bitch and hit him over the head with a lamp because i found out this nigga just gave me an std that's a that in 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 our community and i think in any community like that's anger i'm mad you get you did something to me so i'm gonna do something to you if 6 9 came home with, you know, gonorrhea or, you know, whatever kind of, you know, bullshit ass, you know, STD, whatever like that, 
and she knows she's being faithful, I think that's a predictable response, whatever like that. I don't think that it's time to go, I'm a, you know, I'm a hit him in the face with the phone and fuck his eye up. And then when he you know what I'm saying, slap me and shit like that, I call the police. If you hit somebody, you are fighting. You're fighting after that. Because you should be in your mind, you should think, you should know they're gonna hit me back. If you hit somebody, you're fighting. Because that's the fight has started. You hit somebody. It's not just you hit somebody and the action is over. The reaction to you hitting somebody is a fight. Because now they're gonna hit you should never think that you're gonna hit somebody and they're not gonna, you know what I'm saying, reciprocate that action. So you mad because he cheating or whatever the fuck it is, and you hit him. Now the same thing goes around. Cause what Sarah's claiming is that uh he's jealous and nah yeah, uh, which is not listen to me. I believe that that shit happened. It's the same shit with Nas and Khalees. If we're out somewhere, you nothing ass bitch. If we're out somewhere, I'm this person. And you come in this hole with your same thought ass ways that you've had since I met you. That has to be corrected if you want to stay here. Because here's the thing. When we at the house, here's the thing right here. We at the house, whatever like that. You know that I'm the breadwinner. I'm, I'm the key out of here. I'm 6'9". I'm the key out this motherfucker. So, but we have a kid together. So if I dip, you, like... She didn't have him on child. I don't think she had him on child support. I don't think. I'm sure she does now, but I don't think she had him on child support. So it's like, I'm the breadwinner. We can win together, but 6 9 whole thing was about his image. So look, you're a part of my image. Hold it down. I'm going to be with hoes and all this shit like that. Hold it down. Hold it down. You're going to be straight. But as a woman, if she truly loves him, I can understand. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, fuck. You know what I'm saying? In a fighting suit. But you know how we play. If when you get mad, you try to take it out on me by flirting with shoddy in front of the whole world, I'm just like you. I get mad just like you do. If you saw, if if you got mad when you see me, when you seen me in a video. Laying up with a bitch and a bitch wearing my chain, which happened a lot of time with 6 9 When I come in the house, you slap me. Why the fuck would I not slap you and get you correct? This ain't no uh, a, a, a woman beater abusive type shit. We not, that's not what the fuck is going on. You can listen to this bitch the way she talk and understand she not a bitch that's just going to get beat up and lay there. She going to fight. That's not a bad thing. It's not bad to be someone who will defend yourself. Now, it's bad because you were given a... Now, you should not You should have never been given a voice because it's obvious that you're not educated, you're stupid, you didn't graduate. You, I can tell all this by the way you talk. I've never... I don't, I, I don't go in her shit to find out what the fuck going on with her, but I know all of this by just by the way you talk. By the way you talk, I can tell, like, you dropped out in 10th grade and shit like that. School was never your thing. I don't think that you got into drugs and shit like that, but you were just another bitch that was looking at makeup, Kim Kardashian, and sucked in and influenced by social media. You were just another victim of the war that we're fighting with subliminal messaging. You, 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 you're just, you're just, you're just uh, another piece of the fallout, another part of the fallout that we lost. But you're not a lay down type bitch. A nigga's not going to hit you and then keep walking down no, nowhere. It's not going to happen. So let it be known. <laughs> I want to tell y'all a story. Let's just say um, somebody spoke to me about somebody having an argument with somebody. Not an argument, but they said that somebody told them to go somewhere or some shit like that. And, um... The person had enough sense to say, well, what happened before that? You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, all we have to do is say, what happened before that? Okay, you got punched in the lip or some shit like that. What happened before that? Was it 
was it undeserved? Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it could have been handled in another way. But was it undeserved? Was the action that preceded that action equivalent? Maybe not in force, but it, but in, but in, um, but in, uh, I want to say critic, 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 critic. Yeah. Was was the action um as important? Was it was it was it felt as deep? You know what I'm saying? Like a bitch find out you gave her STD, she feels like an equivalent action is to punch you or slap you in the face. This hurt me, so that's gonna hurt you. This in a different way. He see you on a live with this nigga, or you come in the house drunk or something like that, and he might he might have seen the nigga grab your ass, or he seen you. He know that look in your eye, you looking at a nigga at the party, sipping your drink with your head down, like, you know what I'm saying? And then nigga come, you know what I'm saying, tighten you up and shit like that. Like, bitch, get right. I can't, I can't get you all the way, and that's what I'm saying. We at the house, whatever, like that, and we understand that we really can't leave each other. And we may really have feelings for each other. That makes it even more deep. Let's not go on this whole, yeah, he hit me. Y'all been hitting each other for a long fucking time. This shit didn't just start. Y'all were hitting each other when he was, uh, uh, what, what the fuck is his name? Jesse, Danny? Y'all were hitting each other back then. Talk about that shit. You don't want to talk about that shit because, you know, everybody want to hear about 6 9 You, Billy Otto, and everybody else around this 6 9 shit is going to ride this shit just like folks with the Michael Jackson shit. Just like folks with the R. Kelly shit. This is your only claim to fame. It's somebody else. Because you have no talent of your own. You so you serve no you serve no purpose to the fucking world. And I'm telling you, bitch, if you don't get on social media, your daughter gonna be the same fucking way. Now you can believe that shit. It's another video that I need to be doing where um a little girl go in the damn kitchen talking to her mama about uh her boyfriend touching her and shit like that. And the mama saying, he a good man. What, what you did before that? Now, see, she did that shit too. See, she asked, what did he do before, what, what did you do before he touched you? Did you, she she acting like the girl walked, because she, listen to this shit. I got to do this story. She said, you were, the mama said, after the daughter said, Carl came in there and touched me last night. The mama said, what did you do before that? When it shouldn't have been no question like that asked. It's, the only question should have been, did it really happen? Are you telling the truth or not? It don't matter what the fuck happened before that. This nigga's a pedophile. Your response was, what did you do that made him do that? This girl, is, she has to be 13, 14. This is how down bad you nothing ass bitches is. You have such low self esteem. You, you, you doubt yourself so much that you will depend financially, wholly, holistically, on a pedophile before you'll actually go out here. Maybe go work for a white man and get your own business. If you can't stand working for people, work for yourself. It, it don't go like, I can't stand working for people, so I'm going to be somebody else's sex slave. And I'm going to give my daughter up too if that's what he wants. But I, I, I'm a, I, I don't want to give, I'm, I got to speak on that shit. I got to, because that... She asked, what did, what did you do before he touched you? As if she went in her room and told him, you know what I'm saying? With her booty shorts on, the girl said, the mama said, that, what you think going to happen if you keep wearing them booty shorts around them? The little girl told her, you bought them for me. The mama didn't respond, okay, well. And that's such a nothing ass bitch answer. Okay, well, after you give them a logical response to what the fuck they just said, they then say, okay, well. 
guilty, 25 years in prison. Okay, well, you shouldn't, what the, bitch, you just got 15 years. They will not accept responsibility. And listen to me now, they'll claim when they're talking to you, they'll say, oh yeah, I always, they'll say that they'll, they'll tell you everything down the list that they're supposed to be, they'll say that they're that. But as soon as they get in a situation where they can exemplify and show that, and exhibit that uh, behavior that they've been talking about, they'll fail at every fucking turn. Okay, well, what the bitch? First off, why in the fuck are you getting your daughter booty shorts? I don't give a fuck if it is around. Why in the fuck would you do that? That's what I'm telling you, niggas. I'm gonna I'm say some shit right here. I'm gonna say some shit. Dog. If you can't control what that mother does with that daughter or son, if you can't control the way she's raising that child, separate. Pay your child support until we get something done about that. Pay your child support and cut both of them off. If Because the daughter's going to want to be hot in the ass. If the mother helps her do it, the best thing for you is cut it off. Cut your losses. And do not let her drop her off at your house years later when she's pregnant. Cut them off. If she wants to destroy that child, dog, the court, nobody's on your side. If she wants to destroy that child, the government not only will let her do it, they incentivize it. Two birds with one stone. The daughter becomes a thot and you go to prison if you try to stop it. Because, because what you should do is murder the bitch. That's what you should do. But you'll go to prison for that. But if a nigga try to rape your child or, or have sex with your child, you'll kill him. And you'll be right for that. But what about the motherfucker that pimped the motherfucker out? Should they not die also? Sarah, look, if you need money, just put the nigga on child support. He'll be home in a couple weeks. You gonna get your money? Fall back with that lame ass shit, man. Uh -uh -uh, Cause I'm gonna have to get on your ass. It's a big face podcast. I'm able to say, I don't know what the fuck bit me. Able to say, make sure you sign a petition. I'll see y'all in a minute. Make sure you hit the PayPal too. Love.